Hey guys, Colin here, and this is a video of Patrick Bet David confronting Graham Stephen on the LGBT movement and the Bible. For context, Graham Stephen is a real estate influencer, and Patrick Bet David, or PBD, is an entrepreneurial influencer. Both of them have significant followings, and while Patrick certainly has some views that I would disagree with, he claims to be a Christian, and he says some really compelling things in this video. Let's roll the clip. So if you have to choose which of the two things to put in school, and you have to have one of them, which one will it be? You ready for this technical question? Yeah. Would you rather have your kids have to learn about God and pray every morning and to pledge allegiance to the flag, but they don't get LGBTQ learning, you know, all the different sexes and all that stuff, or would you take God out of school and add they have to learn about what it is to be gay, lesbian, bisexual, queer, trans, and they have to know at an early age because it's part of us being free and not being discriminatory. Which of those two would you want your kids to learn about and you have to give up the other one? I feel like there has to be a balance because you don't want to be oppressive or let's say your 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 kid is gay. You don't want yeah. them to feel like they can't be accepted and they can't be themselves. But at the same time, there's got to be some sort of You got to pick one of them. You got to pick one uh, of them. Come on, Greg. I don't know, man. Okay. I, I don't. So I, that's a yeah. problem. But that's a problem. Yeah. Now, this is a genius question. Patrick asks Graham point blank, would you rather have your kids learn about God and Christianity and tradition in school, or would you rather have them learn about the modern LGBT worldview? He's forcing Graham, in other words, to choose a side. And of course, Graham chooses to sit on the fence. But this is not a silly, hypothetical question. It's actually happening in reality right now. As the government has taken God and prayer out of the schools, the LGBT worldview has been put into the schools. This isn't a coincidence. It really is one or the other. And Graham won't stand up for the right side, which, as Patrick says, it's a problem. But in the next clip, he asks Graham point blank if he's gay. Check this out. And, and the reason why that's a problem is the following thing. Um, are you gay? Me? No. no. <laughs> what do, I, <laughs> what do I need to do no. to convert yeah, I'm listening. What do what? I need to do to convert you into being gay? I don't think you, you can. You don't think I could convert you to being gay? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Uh, who converted you into getting a real estate license? I did. Who influenced you though? How did you learn about real estate? Saw a TV commercial for a million dollar listing. Perfect. And that kind of so, got in my mind. And yeah. you were influenced to be a realtor. You weren't born with wanting to be a realtor. Correct. Bingo. Yeah. Did you get it? This, too, is an incredible question. Graham says that he's not gay, and Patrick then asks if he could be influenced to be gay. Of course, Graham confidently says no, and Patrick is baiting him in here so that he can make his overall point. You see, the whole world thinks that being gay is born into you. It couldn't possibly be a choice. And that is precisely the issue here. But Patrick lays more of the groundwork for his argument in the next clip. Let me explain to you what I mean by this. Sure, please. So, stats came out that shows which generation is the gayest generation of all. That's part of the LGBTQ community. Do you think you care more about what I think at this age or when you were 14 years old? Definitely 14. No problem. Me too, right? So... Do you think it's easier to convert you in a way of thinking at 14 or 33? 14. Of course. Right. right. Okay. So here we have two simple questions. Which generation is more likely to be manipulated by others and influenced by the opinions of others? And which generation is more likely to be LGBT? And in the next clip, we finally get our payoff as he answers these questions confidently and makes a good point. Check this out. Four generations, five generations. Traditionalist, you got the boomers, millennials, Gen X and you got Gen Z. You ready? Traditionalist, 0.8% of our gay. 0.8% of traditionalists are gay. Boomers, 2.6%. Then you go to 5%, then you go to 10%. You know what percentage of Gen Z identifies as LGBTQ? 21%. 21%. Mm. 21%. So who do you think cares less about what you and I think, traditionalists or Gen Zs? Traditionalists. But if 21% of Gen Z is gay, they're being influenced just like you were influenced to be a realtor, just like I was influenced to go into SMC. 
influence. That's a problem. In my opinion, Patrick Bet David is completely right about this. People so often say that the older generations are less likely to be LGBT because they have been suppressed by the expectations of the culture they live in. But out of all the generations, the older ones are far less likely to care what other people think. The younger generations, by contrast, are much more likely to be manipulated by the influence and opinions of others, and they also happen to be far more LGBT than the generations that came before. This is not a coincidence, folks. It's happening by design. Most people just can't see it. This leads to Patrick calling out Graham very directly. So the fact that you, a very smart guy, a super successful guy at your age, cannot tell the two apart, that means you're, you're not really putting a lot of thought into what's going to influence who. Because God, faith, that's going to influence you to do what? Complete different thing. Again, this is 100% right. Graham Stephen is clearly a very smart guy, and he can understand the connection here. As Patrick says, there is a massive difference between a worldview that teaches children about LGBT behaviors in school compared to the worldview that teaches them about the Bible. The evidence for that is all around us, and Patrick really hammers home this point in the next clip. Don't you think that some of that, though, is a bit of that overall people are on somewhere on a spectrum? And if you're, let's say, a 2 out of 10 or a 3 out of 10, that maybe you're more open about that, whereas in other generations you weren't. And perhaps it's somewhere in the middle. No, I think LGBTQ is a religion. And you choose which religion you want to be in front of your kids. Okay. This is the real core of the argument, folks. Graham looks at the undeniable evidence here and says, well, maybe it's this factor, maybe it's that factor, maybe there's this other alternative explanation. No, LGBT is a religion, period. And just like any other religion, it seeks to gain followers and adherence to its worldview and influence in the culture. The question is, is it influencing the culture in a way that is helpful, or harmful. And as Romans chapter 1 clearly demonstrates, the long-term effect is undoubtedly harmful. But Graham tries to make one more last-ditch attempt to recover this conversation. Watch this. But if we take a thousand gay people, what percentage of them are gay because they were born gay? What percentage of them are gay because they were influenced to be gay? Or life influenced them to be gay? That's a real question we have to talk about. I understand it's a very I, yeah, uncomfortable thing. I think it would be just attraction. Who are, like, like, I am attracted to certain people and a certain type. I'm not attracted to another type. No problem. So I feel like that would be the same thing with gender. I'm, I'm it's like okay. if you're attracted to men or women, that uh, would be... Graham. Yeah. Do you think you need to learn how to give a up to another boy at 11 years old? No. That book is in schools recommended teaching by many teachers in America. Do you think that's a problem? Sure. Do you think it's a better usage of my time to learn how money works? Yes. Or how to another boy at 11 years old? Right. So then you have to decide your values and principles between the two. Once again, Graham goes off on a tangent, saying that maybe LGBT behavior is a matter of simple attraction. Maybe it's that easy. Some men have a type of woman that they like, and other men don't like women at all. See, it's totally normal and natural, right? And again, Patrick has to give him a solid dose of reality. There are actually books in schools right now about the mechanics, the physical intimate relations between young people of the same gender. That's actually true. It's 100% a fact, and it should be deeply disturbing to everyone, not just Christians. As Jesus says, a good tree does not bear bad fruit. And Patrick is simply demonstrating the fruit that is coming out of the woke LGBT movement. And I don't always agree with everything he says and does. But overall, this was a really solid perspective from Patrick Bet David. And it tells us two things. One, get your kids out of public schools as fast as you possibly can. Now is not the time to gamble with your child's spiritual future. The Bible tells us to train up a child in the way he should go, not to throw him to the wolves and see if he can survive. And two, stop sitting on the fence and make a decision in your life. There is no neutrality here. As you saw in the video, Graham and the rest of modern America need to make a decision about what they believe and what worldview they will support. You cannot have your society be led by progressive paganism and traditional Christianity and reap the rewards thereof. It must be one or the other. And let's all choose wisely. Please pray for this channel and for anyone mentioned in the video. And check out the ministries linked in the description. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and subscribe to our Rumble channel. And these are the amazing people who make this channel possible with their monthly support.
Today's highlighted channel supporter is Brad B. If you would like this channel to do more research, make more videos, and reach more people, please hit the link in the description and join the Truth Army today. And until next time, fight for truth. Thank you, and God bless.